if y'all want to know how to make some awesome grilled bone-in pork chops y'all stick around shout out to six brothers beef company for supplying these to the channel as always i'll have their information down below in the description box let's get to cooking all right y'all so we've got our porterhouse berkshire pork chops here we're over at my brother's house we're gonna hit it up with some honey chipotle barbecue from suckle busters and some hog waller on both sides the weber is heating up right now so let's get these seasoned up i'll show you seasoning up one side and then i'll handle the other one off camera this has a sweet flavor to it nice savory flavor we'll go fairly heavy with that one and then this one's a little spicy also has some savory notes in there as well it's going to put a beautiful color on these pork chops so that is exactly what we're going to do with these pork chops i'm going to season up both sides and i'll get back with y'all all right guys so we're at about 300 degrees on the indirect side on this weber i'm going to put some hickory wood chips in there for some extra flavor and let's get these pork chops on smelling awesome It is smelling awesome. We got bone-in pork chops from Six Brothers Beef Company. As always, I'll have their information down below in the description box. If you haven't had Berkshire pork, you're missing out, but they also just started carrying what's known as Duroc pork, which is, I call it the Wagyu of pork. So check out sixbrothersbeef.com. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this bad boy shut down and we'll check on these and I'd say Let's say eight to ten minutes. All right, guys, got the tongs. Click them twice. It's about to get ugly out here. A storm's coming, so we're gonna speed this up. This has been about ten minutes in. We're gonna flip these bad boys right over the coal. That's smelling awesome. Told y'all we we're running about three hundred degrees, so we've already got some decent. We already got some decent grill marks on it. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and top this side off with a little bit more of the hogwaller rub right here. Just to put a nice color and continue that original flavor. So I'm gonna try and speed this cook up so we don't get caught up in a storm. I am gonna flip these in about I'd say three minutes, but we are cooking these amazing pork chops over some hickory wood and some Kingsford blue on the Weber kettle. So I'm gonna shut this lid down. I'm gonna flip them around, get them nice and cooked up. All right, let's give these guys a check. Let's see what we're looking like. Starting to get a decent crust on there, but not good enough. I'm gonna put them right back on. All right, y'all. Let's go ahead and rotate these pork chops around. We're backyard grilling today. They are completely juicy. I'm gonna move them around though. Make sure we get even cooking. Let's get this guy over here. This one got the most of it, so we'll leave that one over here. There we go. I'm gonna top this off a little bit more of the honey chipotle barbecue rub. This stuff smells so good. I'm gonna shut this down and check on it in a minute and see where we're at. All right, y'all, let's give them another quick flip. Oh, these are looking really good. Check that out. Getting close. I will have Suckle Buster's information down below in the description box as well as Six Brothers Beef. Let's hit it with a little bit more hog waller. All right, these will be done in a minute. Next time I see y'all, we'll give them a try. All right, guys, the weather has held off uh, unbelievably. Apparently, we're gonna get a bad storm. I've got some green bean casserole 
our beautiful pork chops here. Let's go ahead and try this green bean casserole out. We got the fried onions on top. Mm. So good, so good. And I'm gonna go carnivore style here. Check out that pork chop, look at that. Cheers y'all. Those seasonings on this pork chop, you can definitely tell it's a Berkshire pork chop. I hate it when people say pork tastes like chicken. That's only because you haven't had really good pork. This is so good, oh my goodness. Wow. I mean, we got a nice char on it. Good barbecue rub flavor. Nice smoky depth. And then we mix it with some good green bean casserole. Who's mad at that? That's a win in my books. Until next time, peace. Y'all keep on barbecuing. Later.